Hello, lo hello, hello, y'all. Uh, I'm Brian, uh, and today we're going to be installing Open Fortress. So, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to your browser and go to this website. I'll have it in the description, and then download uh, whichever version you need. So, 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, if you don't know what you need, uh, go to the Start menu on Windows 7, right-click Computer, and go to Properties and download what it says here. Uh, if you're on Windows 8 or 10 look up this PC, right click on that little this PC that com thing that comes up and hit properties. Um, you're just, you're just going to want to install that and then restart your computer. So after you've restarted, uh, you're going to want to open your folders, go to computer or this PC, uh, go into your C drive, and then just go into where you have uh, Steam installed. Uh, the default directory is... Um, Program files x86, uh, Steam. Uh, then you're going to want to go into your Steam Apps folder, and then your Source Mods folder. You're going to want to create a new directory called Open Underscore Fortress. If it's not called exactly that, it's going to get messed up. Uh, but I'm going to do that anyway since I just need something for an example. So uh, I'm just going to name it that for right now. Uh, it's pretty obviously a placeholder, but it needs to be called Open Underscore Fortress. Uh, um, once you've uh, once you made that new folder, you're gonna want to right click on it, and then hit SVN Checkout, and then you're gonna want to paste in this uh, link right here. I'll put that in the description, and uh, leave all the settings uh, how they are by default. Uh, if they're not like this, then change them to this. Uh, I'm going to cancel that, but you're just going to want to let that run. After you've let that run, you're going to want to go to Tortoise SVN. Or you're going to want to right-click on it, go to Tortoise SVN, and then clean it up. So check all these first six ones, and then hit OK. Now that you so that's the SVN part of the installation. The other part of the installation is um, getting uh, Source SDK Base 2013. So by default, you're just gonna have your games right here, but you need to uh, go right here in Steam and check Tools and scroll down to where it says Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer. Once you've installed that, you're going to want to right-click on it go to properties, set launch options, and then you're going to want to type this in. So, what you do is you get the directory where you installed uh, Open Fortress. So, by d and I'll put this um, I'll put the the uh, launch options with the default directory in the description. You're going to want to type in a dash can I type, please? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, anyways, you're going to want to type in dash game, and then uh, put in quotes that directory, and then type uh, dash, st dash secure, dash steam. So, uh, if we just look through it, it's dash game, and then the directory where we installed SVN, or uh, I meant Open Fortress, my bad, and then dash secure and dash steam. Once you've done that, uh, you can hit OK and you can launch, you can launch uh, so Source SDK Base 2013 multiplayer and it's going to open uh, Open Fortress. Um, so I recommend joining the Open Force Discord, Open Fortress Discord. Uh, it's gonna tell you or have an announcement when it's updated. Um, anyway, but the way you update it, because you're gonna need to update it at some point, right click on it and go to SVN update. And it'll just update it. Uh, this is already the latest version. So, um, that's it. You've installed it. Uh, anyways, uh, I would just like to say, um, I do have a server. Uh, it's uh, called Haha ha Funny. It's uh, just type, just open console and type in connect 
colon 27019 in console, and you can connect to my server. I hope to see you there. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, so, uh, bye.